When the United Kingdom sinks into a thick gray blanket of rain, a massive low-pressure system is accelerating from the Atlantic. And within just 48 hours, it, it could become the strongest early winter storm. Are we prepared? If I told you that Christmas 2025 is about to open one of the most unpredictable weather scenarios of the decade, would you believe it? Mysterious cold air streams from the north, classic 1960s-style low-pressure systems, and mixed temperature signals from global models. Everything is converging. And the only question left, will this Christmas be covered in white snow? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Forecast Bulletin on the Mr. Tian channel, where we explore swirling wind systems, cold air masses, and the strange atmospheric shifts that are about to unfold. As always, it must be emphasized that at this time, just days before Christmas, everything remains within the realm of estimation. In the United Kingdom, no one dares to assert anything regarding the weather, especially when the forecast extends beyond three to five days. And today, when the sun had not yet risen above the horizon, the skies across many southern and western regions of the United Kingdom were already drenched in a damp gray tone. The initial gentle drizzle quickly transformed into successive bands of showers, weaving into a curtain of water stretching from Cornwall all the way to western Wales. Since early morning, the radar has detected rain zones growing in intensity, and by noon, those bands continued to expand and move northeastward, covering nearly the entire territory of England. In the northwest, where moist Atlantic air directly makes landfall, the rain seems endless. Northern Ireland is particularly affected. Several stations have recorded 25 mm of rainfall in just a few hours, and it's expected to continue. By the afternoon, rain bands began pushing into Scotland. Mountainside routes in the highlands are at risk of standing water and slipperiness, a warning every driver must take seriously. Today, if you need to travel, add more time to your journey. Weather conditions are favoring no one. Late sunshine. Winds building. Toward the afternoon, some areas in Northern Ireland, Wales, and Southwest England finally saw a break between showers, the sky briefly opening to allow a few glimmers of sunlight before fading again. But that short moment doesn't last. Along the southwest coast, southwesterly winds strengthen rapidly, with gusts strong enough for pedestrians to feel each forceful push of nature. Yet a paradox unfolds. Temperatures rise. Warm southwesterly air pushes inland, lifting temperatures in many areas to 13 to 14 degrees Celsius, higher than the December average. Scotland, however, remains in a colder airstream, especially in areas where the rain lingers. Temperatures hover around 8 to 9 degrees Celsius, creating a damp chill that seeps beneath the layers of clothing. By nightfall, rain bands continue to move northward, bringing moisture across the highlands and the Hebrides. Dark night builds wind. Rain. Wind and temperatures that refuse to drop. As nighttime settles, much of England transitions into a drier state. Some areas even reveal patches of clear sky, exposing a faint moon behind thick clouds but the calm does not last. Right after midnight, a new, heavier and wider band of rain moves in from the western Atlantic, signaling another unstable weather episode for Monday morning. Winds stay strong through the night, preventing temperatures from dropping, and even keeping them in double digits across many southern cities. A relatively warm night, but that unpleasant kind of warm, the muggy, restless kind, not the rare comfort of winter. In Scotland, only a few high valley areas may touch light frost, and even that is extremely scattered. Bright Monday. Sun returns, but not for long. After a gloomy Sunday, Monday begins with a noticeable shift. Many areas enjoy sunshine mixed with clouds, creating a brighter atmosphere. However, don't be fooled by the light. Showers still lurk in many regions, especially central Scotland. Here, long, persistent, and heavy bands of rain may continue until midday. Farther west and north across the UK, the likelihood of scattered showers increases. Winds also remain strong. Southern England enjoys slightly warmer than average early December air, but by late afternoon, thick clouds move in from the southwest. This is the opening signal for one of the strongest weather events of the week. The Atlantic Monster approaches, a deep, low-pressure system. 
experts are tracking every movement of a deep, low-pressure system forming in the Atlantic. From Monday night into early Tuesday, this system will head straight toward the United Kingdom. Dense isobars on meteorological maps, a site that only appears when winds are preparing to surge. The Met Office has issued yellow rain warnings for South Wales and Southwest England. As the storm approaches, the likelihood of upgraded warnings, or even naming the storm, increases sharply. Many weather models indicate rainfall could reach 20 to 40 millimeters, with some spots hitting 100 millimeters. Wind gusts in northern and western Scotland could reach 70 to 90 miles per hour. Flash flooding, localized inundation, and major transport disruption are entirely possible. With only 48 hours to prepare, communities must stay continuously updated. Full radar view. Heavy rain, a closer look. Radar on Sunday evening captured large thunderstorms sweeping across northern England, especially the northwest. Repeated lightning-filled showers from the Irish Sea created a truly chaotic weather picture. Meanwhile, the rest of the country experienced light to moderate but persistent rain, the kind that seems harmless yet saturates the ground, raising the likelihood of flooding when the next heavy system arrives. And that is exactly what is expected on Monday evening. Monday night. A massive wall of rain arrives. As Monday night falls, thick clouds roll in from the southwest like a giant blanket covering the entire United Kingdom. Immediately after, a massive wall of rain becomes visible on radar, with the deep yellows and oranges characteristic of heavy and intense rainfall. From midnight to Tuesday morning, rain continues for 6 to 9 hours straight, intensity 5 to 10 millimeters per hour, total accumulation 50 to 100 millimeters in sensitive regions. The ground, already saturated from weeks of wet weather, increases the risks of transport disruption, road flooding, and small-scale landslides. Tuesday. The storm peaks, strongest winds of the week. It's not just rain. Wind becomes the more dangerous factor. As the low-pressure center approaches western Scotland, the system's southern wind band sweeps across the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, and Northern England. Expected gust speeds 60 to 70 miles per hour, widely 80 to 90 miles per hour in high Scottish mountains. Risks include fallen trees, power line impacts, and disruptions to air and rail travel. This could very well become a named storm, depending on the latest updates, temperatures, and post-storm air of air. Amid all this chaos, one unusual detail stands out. The weather warms before turning cold again. Monday, 13 to 14 degrees Celsius. Tuesday, possibly 15 degrees Celsius, unusually high for December. Wednesday, as winds shift, colder air moves in, pulling temperatures back into single digits in the north. Looking ahead, mid-month models and Christmas trends. From mid-month onward, models show noteworthy signals. Low-pressure systems continue arriving from the Atlantic. The jet stream trends lower, sending moist westerlies into the UK. Some models such as GM, show hints of easterly flow, suggesting colder, more seasonal Christmas air. ECMF remains more cautious, showing persistent west-southwest flow, making deep cold less likely. For now, this remains a big question mark, but the coming weeks promise plenty of action. Official warning. In the next 72 hours, the United Kingdom will face prolonged heavy rain, strong wind gusts, flooding and transport disruption risks, a deep low-pressure system that may be named, weather warnings that may be upgraded. Always check the latest forecast, especially if you need to travel or live in coastal, low-lying, or river-adjacent areas. And the only question left, will this year's Christmas be covered in white snow? Just a few days before Christmas, everything still lies within the realm of estimation. In the United Kingdom, no one dares to assert anything when it comes to weather. What is a white Christmas? A white Christmas, by official definition, does not require snow thick enough to blanket rooftops. Only a single snowflake falling within 24 hours of December 25th at a designated observation point is enough to qualify. Falling snow, not settling snow. Therefore, the sight of thick snow a few days before Christmas doesn't count at all. But a few snowflakes mixed with rain on the 25th, completely valid. A favorite Christmas memory, when the UK was buried in snow. This week, before diving into the analysis, I want to take you back to the most memorable Christmas I have ever experienced. 
That day, a surge of Arctic air plunged straight down from Greenland, accompanied by a low-pressure system anchored over the North Sea. The result? Snow falling in thick, persistent layers, covering the eastern counties of England. Christmas decorations buried in snow. Cars engulfed. The outdoor Christmas tree swallowed under a blanket of white. To this day, I still consider it the most spectacular Christmas I have ever witnessed in the United Kingdom. A surreal, stunningly white memory. Christmas 2025 Outlook. Breaking down the analog models. Every year to assess snow potential, we use analog weather models, comparing the past 30 days with years dating back to 1948 to find the closest matching atmospheric behaviors. Let's begin with this week's top five analog years. 1965, a rare weather pattern in the modern era 1965 brings a very different flavor compared to today. Low pressure moves east. Cold air spills down from the north along the western flank. This pattern is rarely seen in recent decades. Nowadays, low pressure systems tend to get stuck to the northwest of Scotland or near Iceland, constantly being replaced by new ones. The north to south cold flow typical of the 1960s has become astonishingly rare. Still, the 1965 pattern may bring scattered snow showers, some wintry showers for northern England. 1972, high pressure in the northeast and cold air pushed away. 1972 appears rather interesting. High pressure over northeastern Europe, initial cold air, but it gets deflected away from the UK. Chance of cold on the 25th? Possible, but uncertain. This isn't a heavy snow pattern, but still one of the configurations worth monitoring. 2024, a nightmare for snow lovers. Last year, 2024, was truly a disaster for anyone hoping for a white Christmas. Extremely mild, even warm air. Rumors of a Christmas temperature record potentially being broken. It didn't happen because the high pressure shifted slightly farther north than expected. Even so, Christmas 2024 was warm, with no snow. This is the pattern snow enthusiasts want to avoid most. 1984. A cold winter, but not at the right time. 1984 appears repeatedly in this year's analysis. Cold winter, but mainly in January-February. Christmas Day only starts to see cooler Atlantic air. Northern and Western Scotland may see winter showers. But widespread snow? No, 1983. Warmth spreads across Europe. We now reach this week's top analog model, a very warm air mass spreading across Europe. Low pressure tracking near Scotland. Cooler air behind it, but not cold enough for snow. Only high Scottish mountains may see light snow showers. Analog conclusion, quite mixed, not strongly favoring snow, but not ruling it out either. GF's 35-day data, temperature and pressure anomalies, 850 hair temperature, around 1,500 meters. Week of deck 19th to Boxing Day, UK near average, southwest slightly below, northeast slightly above. No clear snow leaning signals. Cannot rule out day-by-day -day volatility. Pressure anomaly charts UK under slightly higher than average pressure. Northwest Iceland below average pressure. Continental Europe above average pressure. Equals not the type of pattern that favors snow reaching lowland southern UK. ECMWF subseasonal forecast, 45 to 46 days. Two min temperatures during Christmas week. Mostly pale pink above average. Wales and the southwest near average. Northern Ireland also not too warm. In other words, not distinctly cold. But still room for localized cold spells. Pressure anomalies, high pressure over northeastern Europe, low pressure northwest, lower pressure southern Europe. This configuration does not shut the door completely, but for widespread snow, no strong signals yet. White Christmas, score two-fifths. Last week the score was three-fifths. This week, as data narrows and cold signals lack strength, we reduce it to two-fifths. Not evidence that snow cannot happen, but no robust mechanism yet pointing toward deep, widespread cold most likely scenario. If we lift the forecasting curtain right now, the most reasonable scenario is snow mainly on high ground in Scotland and northern England. Elsewhere across the UK, unsettled scattered showers, temperatures near or slightly above average. Not the classic white Christmas many hope for, but the road is still long. The atmosphere sometimes shifts dramatically only 36 to 48 hours before December 25th. In the next update, 
I will try to find the lucky Santa hat I've had since 1995 to see whether it might bring a touch of magic for snow lovers this year. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, subscribe so you won't miss any updates, and continue joining me on this journey to explore the fascinating stories of the sky. Wishing everyone a peaceful holiday season, and may the snow arrive right on time!